Hey guys, it's Corey, and I'm here with a fall into fall tutorial. Ah, oh, I'm gonna fix my camera. Okay. Um, so I have a look for you here that um, using some of the new products that I have you seen in my recent hauls, and um, just a nice. It's not too crazy. It's softer look, but using some color. Um, perfect for the fall season so I'm very excited to show you guys what I have created now I have already have I already have my foundation concealer and powder set my concealer and my foundation that's already done and I actually just did a video on my foundation routine I've also already did my eyebrows um, you know I use my L'Oreal um, brow stylist professional in medium to dark brown and then I used my e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow um, to set my eyebrows. So, let's get started. And I have to use my brighter setting my light because I can't see sometimes if it's too dark. Not with light, so bear with me. I'll turn it off after I'm done. But for my primer, I am using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, as you guys have heard like a million times. You know how much I love that stuff. Okay, and then I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I haven't used this as my base, and I haven't used it for a while. Um, I don't know why I've stopped using it for a little bit, but I'm using it for this tutorial, so I'm happy about it. And I don't, I'm going on to the Bravo, which I usually don't do, but I need a little bit of that color to do as my highlight, because I'm not doing a, I mean, to, well, never mind. Never mind, skip what I just said. So I'm just rubbing this all in to get it all over. And I'm using my new palette that I just got, the Sonia uh, Kashuk Fall Eyeshadow Look. And for my lid, I'm using eyeshadow number 8, which is like a, it's like a lighter version of this color, which is like a purpley, rosy, pink color. It's a lighter version of that, basically. And I put that all over my lid up to the crease. And just pat it all in there. I really like this palette. The colors are so vibrant and so pigmented. I, I probably wouldn't even really need to use this base, honestly. For the price that it was, it was definitely worth it. It was only 20 bucks. I mean... Mama likes the good deal. <laughs> okay. All right, perfect. And then um, for my crease, I'm using shadow number eleven, which is this um, bronzy, darker bronze coral color. also going in my crease as well as my outer third of my eye and I just bring it up a little bit more get that faded effect It's a really pretty color. It's not. It's definitely not too crazy at all for fall. It's just, it's just the perfect amount. I would even wear this to school because I would just feel. I would feel definitely okay with doing that. So now I'm just gonna blend that in. Okay, and then for my highlight, I'm using shadow number one, which is like this, I don't know, but I don't know what to call it, the champagne color, I guess. And it's going to go into my brow bone area as well as my inner tear duct.
Okay, and then we're going to blend that again. Okay, now for my definer, I'm using shadow number 9, which is the darker, plummy, purpley, reddy color. And that's going to go into my lower V. Yeah, actually back into my crease again basically, but a lower but just like a lower level of that, if that makes sense. And I like to make the color most concentrated towards the end. I love doing defining. Before I didn't I never used to do it. I guess I didn't understand it, I guess. I don't know. But um no I love it, I do it all the time. I can't imagine my world or makeup without it. So then I'm just going to go ahead and um, blend that in too. Okay. Now for my liner, I'm doing two different liners. I'm doing a little bit of color on the top using my Sephora Cream um, Smoky Waterproof Eyeliner in Bewitch Me. It's like a purple, like a deeper, like eggplant purple. So I'm taking my angled brush and I'm going to do that on my lower lid, I'm sorry, top lid. It is definitely purple, but it's not like super like crazy wild electric purple. So it's still a very wearable look, perfect for this fall look. And it's so ultra creamy. It almost freaks me out. It's so creamy. At this point, you can definitely do a winged liner because I don't think if it was just a little bit of a wing, it, it would still be okay. It wouldn't be like too out there at all. Okay. And see, it's like, it's, it's a really pretty liner. It's not like so, like I said, with the electric violet purple, like highlighter purple, which I like that. Because it is a darker, like plummy purple with some brown, a little bit of brown in there. So it's perfect to give you some color to be a little daring, as well as keeping it neutral so it's not, you know, crazed out or anything like that. Okay, for my bottom liner, I'm using the Ulta Dual Ended Eyeliner, and I'm using the chocolate brown side. And that's just for my uh, waterline here. I was going to do black, but I decided against it just because I wanted to make, sh make you know, the colors as neutral as possible to keep them all within the fall. And I'm not saying the black isn't, but I don't think it might have been too much going on. Because I'm using purples and browns in my look, but so I want to keep the eyeliners that look too. Okay. And then for my lashes, I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous um, Million Lashes Mascara. Awesome. So now my eyes are done. So now what I could, what I can do, what I am going to do is, oh, 
sorry, I feel so unorganized for a moment there. Um, we're going to work on our cheeks. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. And I'm using my e.l.f. Um, contouring blush and bronzing powder. And I'm only using the bronzing side of it. And I'm doing like an angled um, brush here. I'm starting from... I, it's it's all about knowing your own face really um and I just know that this is the best because where like you can just see it like it's like automatically there you know I can look at it, I can see you know so I just start right in here start from the hairline and then I work out so get to know your face I feel like it's like automatically there for me as if like someone like in a coloring book or like a like you trace something it's there and then you just trace over top of it that's what it feels like to me like I can totally see um, where I need to be okay I just take the excess from my brush so I don't want it to be too much and just do it around my jawline. It's a little bronze there. Why not? And then for my blush, I'm using my Sephora Blush Me in Rose Rebel Number One. My favorite. And I'm using my e.l.f. Um, blush brush. It's so cute. I like it. It's so soft. I love these studio line brushes from e.l.f. They're just awesome. And basically what I do is just go right on top like using the contour as like a line for me and they go right on top right above that it will all get blended at the end okay think take your kabuki and you blend it all in together you don't want any harsh lines or anything like that. You keep it nice and soft. Okay, and then do a little bit of highlight. I'm using my Sephora sculpting disc and I'm just using the highlight side of it. I'm using my same blush brush and I'm just, just doing a little bit. Just sprinkle it on right on top. A little bit down my nose. Ah. Just use my kabuki brush and just make sure that's all blended in good. Perfect absolutely perfect and then for my lips um, I'm going with the softer lips I'm using my Revlon color burst lipstick in rosy nude which is number 65 like I said in my um, haul video this is such a light color it's almost like for me it's almost my lip color it's a little bit darker but not too much of a difference Here's my completed look. Just bring it all in for you. Here are my eyes. I just think it's a really nice fall look. I really like this a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, I hope you guys like it a lot too. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas, tips, anything along this positive, um, please comment down below, rate, and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.